The reason we're here today is to help producers reduce their soybean harvest losses. They typically average about one to three bushels, or one to two bushels under the best conditions. But if you get adverse conditions, they can skyrocket. So we want to teach producers how to use equipment, how to use their own skill, how to maintain their equipment to prevent those losses and take more grain to the market. I, I like to be able to bring people together. Um, I think it's good to, for uh, the ag industry uh, to be able to get together, to talk, to look at new equipment. All farmers like to look at uh, new equipment, kick tires, and uh, you know, see what's out there. I, I just think uh, you know, anything we can do to uh, promote agriculture, to uh, make uh, whatever we're doing well known and, and just put a good face out, I think it's good. And, uh, yeah. so we try to look at several different things. We try to look at operator skill. We try to look at equipment, which we're going to showcase some of the latest and greatest equipment. And we look at equipment maintenance and setup. So there's three main categories. Um, one of the things that growers walk away from this with, typically when I ask them, is, and I'm hoping that's the case today too, yes, the new equipment's really important and does a great job. But even within the equipment, operator skill is probably number one. Just take the time to get off. See, soybeans are so funny because on a day like today, that moisture will drop two points in a day easily, maybe even three if we had some wind. So you really need to make some combine adjustments on the go. They usually say once every hour. You probably should stop and, and find out what's going on and, and make some adjustments. So I really want people to walk away with uh, um, the knowledge that uh, knowledge is power and that they can really reduce them, those losses themselves.